There are some things you do as an elder. Even a child will look at you and say, what exactly is this person doing? Because every single thing that you plan to do, whether it is for yourself or not, you have to think about it deeply before you go ahead and make a huge decision that could change everybody's mindset inside the palace. Because now you think like as an elder as you are, you think you can just go ahead, make decisions for anybody. You think you can go ahead and do whatever you want. When you know that people are still in the palace, hoping and wishing for everything to get right between Oni and Queen Naomi. But still, you think you are the head of all of these things. So, nothing they can actually do you that it will affect you. You are the only one just playing the part you need to play in the palace. In the palace so that the Oloris can continue making their way to chase Queen Naomi outside of the palace of Ileife. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we'll bring you top gist from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Queen Naomi is really furious about whatever Olori Ashley and Olori Miriam are busy planning. Because in recent days, she has been receiving mysterious phone calls from somebody that she doesn't even know. Somebody that is not even on her contact list. And if you know, the, the number is not even showing like a normal number that it shows. It is busy showing private number. And all of a sudden, she just said, let her pick it. Let her see what exactly they have in store for her. And as she picked the call, she was like, who exactly is this? Who exactly are you that is always calling my line and disturbing me? What exactly did I do for you? That is how she said, uh, it is Olori it is Olori Miriam's mother. And she was shocked, like, what exactly is she calling her for? Well, your daughter is in the palace. She's busy enjoying her life. She's busy enjoying her stay with Oni. So anything that wants to happen, you should call her. Why are you calling Olori um, Queen Naomi? She said uh, it is because of the recent things that she has been hearing about her and Olori Miriam. That they are not on good terms. That she wants to make everything right between them. That she has noticed though that Queen Naomi is the only prosperous person inside of that palace of Ilefe that after she left, nothing was not going right for them at all. Everything was going south for every single one of the Oloris. That is why she has already called her and started to make inquiries about whatever she can do so that her daughter too can be happy. So that her daughter can live the life that she is living. Because she does not understand what exactly is going on in her life. When she was outside of the palace of Ilefe before getting married to Oni, things were going well for her. And she was seeing all of these things happening the way it is. Everything was playing their own part the way it was. But since she had entered that palace, it is like her business just started going down. It is like every single thing is not even working out for her at all. Everybody now has to look for solution for themselves. And as she is like this, she doesn't want to see her daughter fall. She doesn't want anything to happen to Olori Miriam. The business that she's busy doing, everything is just going down the drain. Every single thing is just making a whole lot of down, downtrend, down, downwards. And everybody now is already afraid what exactly is going to happen to Olo Emea. Because now business is not booming. Nothing is booming. Nothing is working. What exactly can she do to make all of these things happen? What exactly can she do to let Oni know that all of the businesses she has been doing in the past, it is because of all of these things that is happening. That is what is causing it now. And her mother is not ready to see anybody in her family go down. She is begging Queen Naomi. Stating to her that she cannot take it anymore. She can't do anything anymore that she has tried. She has prayed. She has consulted the, the gods of, of her own land. She has done all the possible things that she can do. Yet, no success in whatever she's doing. Yet, nothing at all is coming, into, in, in, nothing at all is coming together. She now has to come to a conclusion that, well, Olori, uh, Olori Miriam has definitely offended somebody. And who exactly is that? You know, the main enemy of the Oloris is Queen Naomi. So you don't need to look further at all. You don't need to look further at all. You will see it right in front of you. If at all you are very sure that all of the things I are thinking of is going the way you have planned, then of course you will now later get to realize that these Oloris are still doing too much. These Oloris are doing much more than you, even you yourself can handle. And now her mother is pleading with Queen Naomi. Telling Queen Naomi, please, if there is any way Olori Miriam has wronged you, any way, whether knowing or unknowingly, please forgive her. 
because the way she's heading now where she is going right now is somewhere that she herself as a mother cannot even plan it for anybody's children at all that is the last thing she will think of about anybody's children so if at all she has wronged her, if at all she has made that decision that yes, OM, Olo Miriam did her this, Olo Miriam did her that, it is because of her own foolishness that she should go ahead and forgive her. That apart from that, she, there is nothing again she can do. The one that she can do, that is what she has told her already, that she should please. She's pleading with her with everything that she has. Every single thing that she has so that her child will not go into all of this trouble that she's beginning going through now. Because this is the root of all the things that she has been doing. So if at all she's still sure that she wants to get back with Oni, she wants to get back on track with Queen Naomi and the rest, then she needs to get forgiving first of all. So that all of her things that could start going in in the way that she always wanted it. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comments.